Hi there Booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm doing a bit of two things really, a wrap up of the books that I read during Lauren from Lauren and the Books cosy reading night which was so lovely. It was a reading night uh, on a Friday, on Friday the 18th of November where between 7 and 10pm people just sat down to read, snuggled up, cosy, candles lit, snacks together and just allowed themselves those three hours to just really immerse themselves in books. If you saw my TBR for that I was planning to pick up graphic novels and that's exactly what I did but as it turns out the three graphic novels that I picked up are all by the same author, which is Lucy Nisley. Now, I think it said Nisley, um, so I apologise if it's not, but they're three graphic novels by Lucy Nisley. And this all stems, I now own, I think, all of her graphic novels, from reading two others. So I've read her novels French Milk and Relish, so I'm not going to talk about them too much today. Um, I will just show you some of the artwork um, but I'm just gonna I think what I'll probably do is just briefly tell you a little bit about her. Lucy Nisley is an artist and she does books about her life so she talks about things that have happened to her. So in French Milk we follow a trip with her mum this is uh, I think this is the only one that I've got that is black and white and it's also got photography through it, but still the same sort of signature artwork. And I really love the voice that she speaks in. I mean, it's obviously her voice, um, but I really love it. And this is a story about her and her mother went to Paris for, I think it was a few weeks. How long did they go for? Six weeks. And it's just about their adventures and what happened and the time there and the people they met and what they did. And her mother is um, heavily into food and Lucy consequently has become, you know, really loved loves food as well and so we get lots of foodie things in there she talks about what they've eaten and what it's like and um the places that they ate and the people that they met so I really enjoyed this one I also read Relish a while ago and this is in colour and this really was the one that got me into her work I just adore her writing style. I really love how the pages just are really um, vibrant and they really make you want to read on. They're really, um, I don't know how you would describe it, active pages? I don't know, they just really make you want to uh, read on. There's lots of arrows and boxes and bright colours and at the end of every chapter there was a recipe. So this one is how to make sushi rolls and it's just really lovely done and it's, you know, recipes that you could actually do. I'm trying to find see if I can find you another one uh, what else was there uh, this one is shepherd's pie and I just love it she's interspersed stories of growing up and food and um, you know how food became a big part of her life with recipes and it's just brilliant so for the cosy reading night, I thought I'll start by picking up The Age of Licence, a travel log. And this is partly in black and white and partly in colour. I love the way she does colour. It's just really lovely. I love I lo love everything about her writing style. And this is a story, again, about her going to France, but also going uh, to some other places. This is a time in her life where she's a little bit older than in French Milk. And she's going over to sort of a comic convention to talk about French Milk. And she's meeting some people on the way. She's visiting some friends. She's seeing her mum. She's going to various different places. She'd just broken up, or a few years before broken up, from her long-term boyfriend, John, who she was still really close with. Um, but but she wanted to get out there and do some more things there's a love affair it's just a really good story about her time and and the places she goes to and the food she eats and we find out about different places that she's visited I'm just trying to find this uh, one place <coughs> So they visit um, a, a monument to the murdered Jews of the Holocaust and it's just really really good and so I read this one and I gave this one four stars I then moved on to her next one, Displacement, which again is a travel log. This is all in colour and this is about her time where she went on a cruise with her two elderly grandparents. They're in their 90s and they are, uh, I think her grandmother has senile dementia and obviously her grandfather's getting a bit old. He's incontinent at times. Um, they're both sort of really shouldn't be going on these trips on their own. And so um, Lucy offers to go with them as kind of like 
an aid or a help um, and to spend time with them. But it, it puts the family's mind at rest that she's going to be there with them. And it talks about the struggles and of going away with an older person, the things that happened on this trip. And then also in this, at the end of every chapter, Lucy is reading her grandfather's journal he wrote about his time in the war. And so we're getting parts of that, um, things to do with what happened in the war, his time in the army, um, how he met her, her grandmother and that's a really interesting um additional part to this and i really enjoyed this as well and i gave this one four stars and then the next one which i'm halfway through but no doubt will finish this evening is something new tales from a makeshift bride now um john and her got back together they had broken up for a number of years. As I say, they'd stayed close friends. Um, but John and her got back together and uh, are getting married now. And it's talking about their early relationship is the part that I've read so far. Talking about how they got together, um, what happened, what happened when they broke up and in those times between when they were together, what prompted them to end up getting engaged. Um, and also those trials and tribulations that you go through as a bride, um, so organising a wedding, trying to keep all families happy, especially when your mum, um, I think mothers have um, very particular ideas for their daughters on how they think the wedding should be and how to sort of compromise on that. She obviously has a really wonderful relationship with her mother. And um, she says, you know, even me, I've had this great relationship with my mum we're having screaming matches down the phone about some something ridiculous um that just unimportant but um it gets really heated and i just think she's just um she's just got a really great voice and she really speaks to sort of the every person um you can really relate to the things that she's going through and she's just uh, really great i mean the three hours for the cozy reading night just shot by and i couldn't believe um that they'd gone so quickly and I really enjoyed these. And um, so if you haven't picked up any of her books yet, I hoped I've um, prompted you to maybe think about it. Um, there was a really funny part in here. Where is it? Oh, she does her uh, popular bridal hairstyles which I thought was really funny. Um, she's just a really, really great artist and she writes really engaging, wonderful books. I definitely recommend them. So if you haven't checked out Lucy Nisley, check out her books and give them a go. Uh, if you like the idea of sort of memoirs, graphic memoirs, and you liked what you saw of her artwork, I think you'll really enjoy them. So thank you so much to Lauren for hosting the Cozy Reading Night. I really loved it and I hope she runs it more and more often because it's just a great excuse to force yourself to sit down, put down the eye, pad put down the other things that you could be doing or feel you should be doing or that you get distracted by just googling stuff and just focusing on your reading and it was really good fun so that's it from me and i'll speak to you soon bye for now victor